Welcome back to News Talk. Time now for our Friday Focus on You, this time work life. Do you have a plan for success in 2016? There's still time to pull one together and to get after it. Mary Abijay is our workplace guru. She's co-founder and president of the Career Stone Group. Great to see you as always. Belated Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Bruce. Thanks, yeah. thanks very much for coming in. Well, I'm excited today to talk about New Year's resolutions for the workplace that are not mine. They're for <laughs> other people. And it's not too late. It's, it's not too we're, late. We're, we're a few days beyond the first, but Couple days in. you're looking big picture. You're thinking about the 12 months to come. That's right. So not too late and probably important that people do think about what do they want to accomplish. That's and, right. and then once there, how do, you, how, do you how do you do you how do you do it? Yeah, and I really want to talk today about like what organizations should do. I have resolutions mm. for organizations and leaders because it's a it's a two pronged approach. And I have resolutions for people uh, in their career in any kind of job they have uh, things to keep their career on track and goals. So both are for companies, organizations, and leaders, and for the people in them. Let's do the people first okay, let's do the because people that's first. that's what most of us can yeah. identify with is what do we want to do to advance our career, yes. position ourselves maybe for you know, advancement, yep. uh, promotion, yep. pay, whatever. What do you do at the beginning of the year to be strategic and, and long-term? You do a couple things. The first thing you want to do is you want to take control of your career. Get into the driver's seat. Mm. And I say this because all too often what we see is people just get in a rut. They let things keep moving and they don't really pay attention. We get through the day-to-day -day and this and that. But to like really think about uh, making career resolutions, first you have to get in the driver's seat. You have to get there and decide, I am in control of my career, I am the captain of my ship, and I'm going to do what's necessary to, uh, to create, to guide my ship. So it's really get get getting that mindset mm -hmm. first. So that's number one. E it's easy in a big organization to be... Complacent. To, to, yeah, it's like a boat yeah. going down a stream and, you know, yeah. how much can I do to really influence things? You're, what I hear you saying is you can and you should. And you should. And you have to take an active step. You can't let other people do this for you. So what you want to do is uh, make sure at the beginning of every every year you want to take a good, do a rigorous audit of your career. Where are you? Are you where you want to be? Where do you need to go? Where do you want to go? And what are the skills you need to get there? And one of the things I always want you to be thinking, even if you're happy with where you are, are you building skills to keep mm. you relevant? Because the world changes really fast, and you need to always be looking forward to the side and a little bit backward to make sure that you are keeping relevant. How much of this involves uh, engaging people within the office environment who know about how advancement works and might like you enough to share some thoughts or suggestions about uh, making sure that when advancement opportunities and pay opportunities come, that you're in, th that you're in the mix. That's exactly right. So that's one of my resolutions, is you need to find yourself advocates and mentors within your organization or within your industry. If there are places where you want to go in, in your career, you need to find people to help you get there. So it can be within your organization or it can be outside of your organization, but finding mentors and getting people who are, can advocate for your career and give you advice is an excellent resolution to have. And that also tags on to one of my big resolutions, which I have every year, and that is you have to broaden your network. I know networking is time consuming, but opportunities come from other people. And if you are looking to really uh, keep your career moving forward and look for new opportunities, you've got to broaden your network. What about skills development? You touched oh, on that. Absolutely. But, but, but being proactive there can be a huge uh, game changer in terms of your career track. Game changer. And what you should, what I like to do every year is think about what are some new skills I can build this year. And you may have to spend your own money doing this. Mm -hmm. Like you, mm -hmm. there's no guarantee your company's going to do that. But you always want to be thinking about what skills can I gather, what skills can I learn, what skills can I brush up on that I haven't used in a long time that will make me more marketable, that will keep me relevant, and that will keep my career on track. What can organizations do? And in a big organization, I guess you want to talk too about departments yeah. or project teams, right? Because yeah. it's the unit can vary. It can be a little smaller, a little larger. I mean, if you're working for a nonprofit with seven people, okay, you're talking yeah. about the organization. But if you're in a big agency where you're in the department of so-and-so, then that's kind of the, the focus and the, wor the worldview, so to speak. Yeah. So what sort of audit and goal setting do you recommend there? Well, what I recommend there is look for projects outside your unit. Like, look for projects that there are in any organization there are there are cross-divisional, cross-office, as we call them, enterprise-wide projects. 
go and volunteer for some of these. Uh, look at other opportunities for people that do things to get new skills. Uh, if, you're with, if you can't actually do that, then you need to go talk to your boss and say, you know what, I'd really like to learn more about X. I know my department doesn't do it, but our office does. How can I get involved with that? So there's always ways to learn. Listen, every employer wants people who are self-starters, who are ready to take on extra responsibility. It is not hard to get extra work. What sorts of big picture goal setting should folks at the, maybe not the CEO level, but right. that would be included in this too, of course, but probably not a lot of CEOs out there, as much as there are department heads yeah. and supervisors yeah. and people with some managerial and some goal setting, even if they're not the top woman or man. Yeah. Uh, what sort of advice do you have for seizing that calendar page that calendar turn moment. So I have a couple for the leaders and organizations. The first thing I want them to do is I want them to start taking leadership and management seriously. I want them to start holding leaders and managers in their organizations accountable for leading and managing. It is the leader's responsibility to create what we call employee engagement. In the 21st century, most of America is involved in what we call knowledge workers, right? And knowledge workers are about the talent that you have. And you have to make sure that you are creating an environment where your managers and leaders are bringing the most out of your knowledge speakers, people. We are not building widgets anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think number one resolution for leaders and organizations is to start taking leadership and management seriously, the people side. The knock on New Year's resolutions, whether they're yeah. per personal or, or work life related, yeah. is that uh, a, many of us don't do them, and B, uh, for a lot of folks, you do it in early January and it's just forgotten yeah. the moment you put that piece of paper down. How often do you come back to your goals? Uh, it, it's a quarterly dive back, yeah. and reconnecting to your, first of all, you your have goals to at s every six months? Yeah. What you well, for, well, you have to find a system that works for you, but first of all, if you're gonna make goals or resolutions, you need to write them down. There's a, there's mm -hmm. a lot of subconscious intent, intent that goes behind writing them down. Yeah. Um, if you are really serious about them, you need to write them down and see them and put them somewhere where you look at them frequently, where you see them. And it's always better to have a few rather than a lot, right? Have a few really serious resolutions or goals, put them someplace where you see them regularly. If you are a leader and you happen to have a coach or a mentor, then tell them your goals. Help them hold you accountable as well. If you are uh, a staff person, tell a trusted colleague, tell your boss. If we can get people to like help us remember our goals, that can be very helpful. And if you have a, a work wife or a work husband, as they're many the of us, best. Right? <laughs> Go to lunch, yeah. share. That's right. And then it's not like it sets up a nagging thing, but just a hey. Um, you know, well, you said it's a support begin system. Right, it's you a want support a support, right. a support system. Right. You can go, it, it should be someone that you trust that can say, hey, you know, what about that goal where you said you weren't going to swear so much in the office, <laughs> you know? Like, I heard an F-bomb the other day. <laughs> you want someone that can hold you accountable and, like, help give you ideas to, to keep it up. And, of course, a lot of what we're talking about here is, 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 is stuff like, I want to be in line for the yeah. next promotion. Exactly. I want that new, the Johnson account that's coming in or whatever it is. I mean, those are the things where careers really get they, they really do and if you're going to have goals like i want the next promotion and i want this you know really advancing mm -hmm. you also have to be willing to really accept feedback and take a rigorous honest self-assessment of where you may be falling short a lot of us are delusional about our skills ah. and what we're owed mary abajay of the career stone group part of our friday focus on your location thank you everybody so much we'll see you next time Happy New Year. back with you back with a program note after this